Hello everyone, um, this is Keita from the Visceration Nation. Welcome back to episode 4? This is the 4th episode. We're making progress. Um, I'm here with my father, um, also known as G-Man from the Shake Man Show on AquanetRadio.com. Howdy. <laughs> um... He doesn't n quite know so much about Pokemon yet, but he's here to do some voices here and there when we think he would be a good fit for a character. In this episode, um, we're in Viridian City right now, so we got a little side area we can go to. Um, we also got SS and down there. We also have this Diglett's Tunnel. Now, I want to go here. And I'll make this clear. Um, it's just going to be Diglett's and Doug Trios. Nothing noteworthy to fight. Noteworthy to fight, so... I'm probably going to speed through it with Yoshi. Because... I don't want to... Fight. Because... And we're at... Yeah. Yay! Um, we're going here because that Abra we caught last step, the other last episode. Um, we talked to him. He wants an Abra. He gives us a Mr. Mine. So we're gonna use the in-game trade that we get for the Abra. To receive Mr. Mind, who we will have on our team. His end game name is. Uh, that's the old Game Boy Advance. Yeah. That's cool. Um, the end game um, Mr. Mind's name is. Mindian. But we'll be calling him Ness because we're going by. Super Smash Brothers theme. So, and we can't nickname him, so. Yeah. Then, yes, his name is actually my name. Oh, Marshall! No! It's in. Oh, yeah, it's in Fire Red that it's, um, my name. Hi, Marshall! Pretty good stat for a little pet. <laughs> I know, I know you don't know much about this game at all. Um, I need to check Pokedex. How many Pokemon? I need to catch 30 Pokemon to get the EXP share. To get the EXP share. Which is the only way to... Oh wait, I forgot I don't have that move yet. Yeah, because I have to cut down that tree. You can't do that without the move cut. So you gotta fight these guys. Uh, I just want to get the extra experience. It doesn't hurt. And we're out. Okay, so. I'll grind, um, Ness up at later in between episodes, um, so that way you don't bore Rap, one of the most broken moves in this generation. You can't move while you're, have, while they're attacking your family. It sucks. Oh, crit. <laughs> Get critted. A critical hit essentially doubles the damage you do. Um, you are likely to get it if you outspeed your opponent. Well, are at least more likely to get it. Oh wow, Ganondorf is actually still leading the party in health. Then the health. Stop it with the wrap.
Yeah, for the Rafi is a move that lasts about two to three two to five minute turns. Okay. And this generation, you can't attack while it's being used. So essentially that Pokemon for the duration of that move is rendered useless. But you can't switch. So kind of stuck. It's, I'm using an emulator, so I have a speed up function, um, but because of the way first gen moves, it will make me jump instead of just move fast, so it's harder to control. Okay, we don't want to stay. That's a fire type. We're a grass type. So. Yeah. <laughs> Even I can figure that out. And here's something else you can probably figure out. Um, ground versus fire. Ground versus fire. Uh, ground probably that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it can stuff out the fire. <sighs> okay. This Okay, so he does have something worth fighting. Okay. Never mind. These trainers. Oh. I forgot I wasn't on Little Man. That move is a Annoying. Sonic Boom, um, it always will be 20, per 20 health points of damage, no matter what. So, early game, if you can get a Pokemon with um, Sonic Boom, um, it's game over already, pretty much. And now, we have pretty much cleared every trainer on this group now. So we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center. You know what that is? Yeah, that, that's yeah. The, you know, that stuff. Yep. Sadly Brock doesn't follow you in this game, otherwise he'd be going nuts. Oh yeah. I just remember watching the show or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> first, first time, okay. Yeah. Didn't you used to watch it with me? Yeah. And I used to, used to kick you off by calling him Ash Ketchup. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure anybody who likes Pokemon in this episode is already now pissed off. Oh, good. <laughs> My job is complete. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you do surf on this little thing, like some people try, uh -huh. or get cut, and the Cerulean Gym. You can come back, surf later. There's a hidden item over to the right. If you surf and go to the right here though, you'll find a little hidden truck. I think in this one too. Um, and no, you won't find me there, but you will find a, some item. I'm not sure what it is in this one. Um, oh, that's the one. In some of the rooms there are trainers that will challenge you. In this room though, oh, it is a damn. I forgot in this generation you actually have to leave the ship to go heal. Oh, I don't know, they the ship to heal. Kind of relaxing there. Sadly, this game isn't about logic. I think that's part of what people like about it, that it defies logic. I completely missed what I knew that was. Okay, that's perfect. Oh, not bad! That's actually a hard item to come by this early in the game. Battle me! I want all the experience I can get, because we do have a rival battle coming up. And then come back and then take out our rival. Yeah. 
and basically we were just one-shotting everything, so there's no point in really taking my time here. Oh, it's not about how many hits you do, yeah. but I don't want to land for you instead, so we can play in the game. Oh! See this Pokemon? The okay. Scar you? Yeah. I actually want to use him later on. Okay, so you can catch that one then. But that was a trainer, so I can't catch that one, sadly. It'd be cool if I could, but sadly, cannot. And now the game is just trying to make me go. Yeah. And... I get to the to die. Pretty much. That's what this place mainly is. A lot of fighting. And things can really set up a fight in this game. Because they're usually like level 16. I'm like level 20 ish. I'm not a waiter, damn it. Yeah. Go fetch your own cherry pie. Oh, that has got warrant stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it is hair band, what can I say? Don't you always have one stuck in your head? Yeah, I've always got some sort of song, song stuck in my head. In fact, to, uh, it's my friend Mark Evans, my cousin Judge. I had, uh, find another way stuck in my head. <laughs> this will be useful. Um, body slam. It has it's a move that gives a chance to paralyze. Nice. And it is one of the strongest normal type moves in the game. Body slam. So we're getting rid of tackle on um Ganondorf? Because in the game anyway, it already kinda seems like he body slams people. Press. We don't have anybody that can that needs that really oh. Um in this trash can right here, you can get a great ball. <laughs> you get a what? A great ball. Oh, this is great. A great ball um is this um next um best um Pokeball. Only second only behind, um, see, Paralyze, only behind the Ultra Ball, and the Elusive Master Ball, which you can only get one of, so I didn't count that in the list. I didn't know which one was the Pokeball. There's Pokeball, but there's a Great Ball, there's a... No, yeah, I thought it was, uh, so I think it was for a bunch of years. Well, now there's even more, so... And of course he wants to fight too. Yeah, you'll find we're gonna see a lot of water types and fire types on this. So, because that sailors mainly use water types, so but they also use fighting types and fishermen. So you know he's using. One sad thing about this generation, um, type effectiveness only counts for the second legendary typing of a Pokemon, so my Pokemon could be, my moves could be super effective against their first type, not do a damn thing. What's the oh, no. And... I need to go heal because I'm paralyzed and I don't have any healing items because I don't care. <laughs> Isn't that a good way to live? Yeah, yeah. In a way, it's kind of a good thing in this game though because. God damn you. Because. There's a lot of stressful things in this game. <laughs> stressful things? Like, you gotta take into account critical hits, poison, which poison can kill in this generation, so it's not like a major one. 
where poison wears off. So you gotta be careful. Alright, since this is up. And nobody is out. So here we fight our rival. This prick. Blue. Bonjour, Kato. I am at, imagine seeing you here. Kato, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Thank you, please. <laughs> Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. Grassy areas. And essentially, he's saying that we don't put in enough work as trainers. I don't want to stay in for this. Forget that. <laughs> okay, I'm okay with that. Critical hit. Slash. Right away. <laughs> One little fact about this Pokemon right here. Okay. We will never see it again on his team. Because uh, okay. after this, yeah. it dies. Oh, wow. And not just faint. It dies. Right? Yep. That's the one and done. You literally only see it in this battle ever. Well. And it's pathetically weak. Okay. Probably to use Super Fang later on, but it dies so. Oh wow, I am over leveled like crazy. I apologize, everyone. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. A lot. Yeah, oh no! No, that was. We took that like a champ. Go, Yoshi! <laughs> well, then again, we are eight levels above it. We grew to level 20. We learned nothing. Charmeleon! His ace and starter. Obviously, Charmeleon, fire type. Only level 20. But Max is gonna just destroy that. What? What? Huh? How? Why? What? Okay, that one is. Yep. Well, it's a pine mm -hmm. And Little Mac is ground, so. Not only was that. I heard there was a cut master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. The cut itself is a really is really useful. We should so, go, you should go see him. Smell ya. He missed one of his. He missed the last word of his most famous saying. Yep. Uh, once we get back from Texas. Mm -hmm. And basically, he's just he's sick and he's up and out. And he gives us a new cut, which is all we need from him. We will never have to talk to him again. But at least he gives us what we need. Teach it to Paris because it's an HM slave, so forget it. <laughs> and that wasn't important, so. Yeah, one more time before I go into the gym. And then your face. My face. Two people. Two, three people, and then right to like ten and three. So this video will be actually a little bit longer than 20, 20 minutes. I hope you guys don't mind. Do you? Do me? Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Still get my beauty sleep tonight, so. Okay, so I'm fighting three people, and I don't need to worry about anything because. They're just trainer battles, um, gym trainer battles, and they don't have anything. Because, as you can see, the Slash is killing everything. Not even too perfect. Just critical hits all day. Oh, I forgot. You didn't have to do all that crap. That you still have to do the puzzle. Mm. Yep, you gotta find the right switches. Yes! Okay. 
Now here's where you come in. Hey, Gib, what do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat. That's for sure. I'll tell you, kid, a bunch of Pokemon see me during the war. See, they zap my enemies into paralysis. Same as I'll do to you. But essentially, he's just being a bit tough. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm not going to speed up this fight because this one is kind of important, even though, look at his level, look at Alex. Yeah. There's no, and the fact that I'm going to get a critical hit right here. Hit. Hit. See? Now this next Pokemon. <laughs> this one's a little bit scarier. It's going to outspeed us on 90, oh, never mind, it's Pikachu. a Pikachu. Okay, you can die. The boy <laughs> <laughs> it's the boy. Critical hit, of course. As long as we outspeed. Because Slash also has boosted critical hit chance. Now, this is the Pokemon Raichu. I was talking about. Raichu, yes. The older form of Pikachu. Level 24, so a Ooh. little bit stronger. There you go. And, as I said, outspeed. And it lowered our attack. Great. We needed that. Like you need to be any faster than you already were. What? Oh wait, yeah, you used my <laughs> Looks like that attack drop didn't help you. Whoa. You're the real deal, kid. Fine then. Take the thunder back. <laughs> Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Take this. And we received KM24, which is Thunderbolt. We'll actually not be teaching it to an electric type, because we're not going to have one. Because they suck. Not really, though. Um, but... Okay, situation. Yeah, it's situational. <laughs> but, um, thank you for voicing me. Yeah, no problem. And thank you for being on here. Hey. Um, hey. again, this was G Man from the Shake, Shake Man Show on AquanetRadio.com on Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights, starting at 7. Starting at 7, going till whenever the hell we wrap up. <laughs> yeah. It's late until 11, we usually go to 12. Because <laughs> we just have too much fun. So, if you're ever 18, <laughs> not for children are easily offended. <laughs> uh, obviously not, <laughs> if it goes on till after. Yeah, after prime time. But we're broadcasting worldwide, so. So, thank you all for watching. This has been Kata from the Evisceration Nation. I'll see you next video. Have a good one, guys.